Well, I do have a lot of confidence in the uh, group that Commissioner Atwell has brought together. It's a very strong and competent group of public and private individuals. And I am confident that they will have a good plan coming forward as well. I think that the fairgrounds is a really fantastic asset for us. And it's, a, it's placed at the end of, of a um, area that's got recreational use already. It's got parkland and it's got trails. And I think that it could be very well utilized through a partnership with the city, uh, particularly in, in parks and recreation. I think it's something that we need to come together for and allow all citizens to use all of the year. I do not think that a new sales tax is the way to go. I think that the Boone County citizens have have voiced their concerns about that and have definitively voted down new taxes for that. Uh, I don't think that that's the appropriate way to finance the, uh, the event center. I think that the trustees have the primary responsibility for making those decisions. The commission is important because they do have to be brought into those discussions. And I think there have been some failures with that in the past. And I think that moving forward, the RFP process uh, should have more transparency. And it should include commissioners that do have a, a stake in it. We do have a very um, vested interest as a county in the lease that Boone Hospital engages in. Um, and that is, I think, an important part of uh, the way that our financial status is set up and uh, in the way that our citizens are served by having a hospital that's owned by the county and increasing uh, competition, not just having one hospital here. So I think that it's important uh, as the lease renewal discussions move forward that um, people are brought in that, that need to have the knowledge of what's been discussed about the RFP process and how that lease is going to be moving forward. I think that they should. I think that the, um, the county has had ownership stake in it and uh, it is a, a functioning part of county government so it should contribute to the government as well and citizens receive the benefit of that too. Yes, I definitely think it should be. I think the next commissioner needs to be a very strong and vocal advocate of renewing that. Uh, our county has had a fantastic infrastructure uh, and that's supported by that tax. Um, I've talked to the um, roads workers that uh, care very deeply about making sure that they have the funds that they need. And I think that if we wanna maintain the leadership that we have in Boone County, the economic development that we have in Boone County, roads and bridges are the way to do that. The revenue that comes in from the roads and bridges tax, when we're making our five to 10 year plans and we're trying to have a predictable and consistent plan for infrastructure in this county, a lot of it depends on that roads and bridge tax. And so it's an integral part of making sure that we have uh, safe roads, operating roads, roads that our citizens can be uh, can use, but also that uh, um, businesses can can transport on. We have a lot of county roads that are uh, used on a daily basis with high traffic, and we need to make sure that yeah. those continue to be suitable. I think that we need to have a new commissioner that has experience in government management and experience in being able to have conversations with people, communicate with others that are stakeholders, and work together to improve the entire area. The city and the county have a lot of overlap, 
and they do work very well at the staff level, especially in, in public health and in infrastructure. And I think that having new blood moving into the commission and moving into the city uh, can help develop new relationships, and that's what I'm interested in pursuing.